Well, it's a, it is a challenge. In the old days, the women didn't work, or many of the women didn't work. And uh, they, they, sometimes the women didn't even go to school as much. And then you, you are brought up to have ba minimal basic education in order to get married at a quite young age, probably in your teens, and then you have babies in your teens. And then, well, that's your life. You spend your life looking after babies. But today we are not like that, and I don't think we want to go back to where we were. And today, the men, as well as the women, many of them want to work, the women particularly. And I think that we have to be able to accommodate that and make it easy for them to have couples both working and to have kids. Because if you don't make it easy for them to do that, they are not going to stop working. They are going to stop having kids. I can be sure of that. And if you look at the European experience, it is like that. The southern Europeans, where the women don't have so many opportunities, their fertility rates are very way down, like Italy and Spain and Greece. But the northern European countries, like the Scandinavians or the Dutch, to some extent the Germans, their fertility rates are better, and they make it very easy for women to go to work. So what we can do, I don't think giving you a lecture or a module on why you should get married and have kids early will be the game changer. We may still encourage you to attend a lecture, but I don't think it's going to change your behavior in a big way. I think what will change behavior is to make it convenient and easy for couples to have kids and to work. Like Alfred and Natalie, I mean, you study, you have a kid, baby comes, takes top priority, you stop for a while, take care of the baby, and then you resume your studies and you complete your studies. Or if you've, or if you've already finished your studies, baby comes, we make sure that you've got infant care available, and we've got preschool available, and it's very affordable, and you can put it in, and it's very convenient. We were short of preschool places a few years ago, particularly places in, in towns like Sengkang, Pongol, the new towns where there are lots of young couples. I don't know where you're living. Are you Sengkang or Pongol? Or? Bedok, going to Pongol. But there you are. <laughs> Have you got kid yet? Struggling to have an agreement. <laughs> well, you can, if you go to Pongol, by the time you go to Pongol, or even now in Pongol, the queue has disappeared. So if you have a kid, that you can conveniently find a place for infant care, child care, preschool, and then if you're in school, after school care. So I think these sorts of things will make a difference, and I hope that the result will be more parents will say, I'll have two instead of one, or even I'll have three instead of two. I don't ask for a show of hands, <laughs> but I hope there will be some.